Welcome to the stunning city of Toronto, Canada's largest metropolis and often referred to as one of the most diverse cities in the world. Toronto is the capital city of the Ontario province, and people from all over the globe have settled here, contributing to a rich cultural blend. It's characterized by warm summers and harsh winters, and in and around the city, you'll find beautiful nature. Let's find out what it has to offer. As you can see, there's one tower that dominates Toronto's skyline, and that's the CN Tower. This tower is not only a remarkable feat of engineering, but also a testament to the city's ever-reaching ambitions. The CN Tower was originally constructed as a communication and television tower, completed in 1976 and standing as the world's tallest freestanding structure at the time. Beyond its initial role as a communication tower, the CN Tower has transformed into a significant tourist attraction and observation tower, offering a breathtaking view over the city of Toronto. In the heart of the city, you find Yong Dundas Square, often compared to New York's Times Square. Dundas Square pulses with energy at all hours. Surrounded by gigantic electronic billboards and bustling with events, it's a hot spot for entertainment, shopping, and urban exploration. Close to Dundas Square lies Nathan Phillips Square. In the front, you can't miss the dominating illuminated Toronto sign. Behind it, you see these two half-moon-shaped buildings. This is Toronto's City Hall, a modern design by Finnish architect Viljo Ravel. This square hosts concerts, art displays, and there's a reflective pool that turns into a popular ice skating spot in winter. Speaking of winter, let's turn on the freezer for a moment. It can be very cold during the winter months, and due to its proximity to Lake Ontario, Toronto can experience lake effect snow, where cold air passing over the relatively warmer lake water picks up moisture and results in heavier snowfall. It's enjoyable to explore the city while it's dressed in its winter attire. We are now at Toronto's largest public park, High Park. It is a green, or at the moment white, oasis in the urban landscape. It's not just a park, it's a diverse habitat featuring a zoo and many sports facilities, and with its serene ponds, cherry blossoms, and winding trails, it's a testament to Toronto's commitment to preserving pockets of nature. Perched atop a hill, Casa Loma is Toronto's fairy tale made stone. With its battlements, secret passageways, and Edwardian gardens, it whispers tales of an era long past. Our next stop is the Distillery District, 